What up, what up, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jesse. Welcome back to another Madden 25 franchise video. Today, we're going to go on ahead and go through all the fun stuff the season awards, the stats, statistics, and all that other fun stuff. So, as you see, we're going to take a look first at the standings. Let's take a look where everybody's favorite team is AFC North. We have the Bengals who won the division at 9 and 6 and 1. Steelers and Browns tied 9 for 7, and the Ravens are 6 and 10. AFC South, the Texans went ahead, got themselves that bye. Titans 10 and 6, 7 and 9 for the Jags. Colts are 3 and 10. AFC East, the Jets win the division with an 8 and 8 record. Bills 8 and 8, Dolphins 7 and 8, the Pats 5 and 11. The AFC West, the Chefs, we got the Chiefs 11 and 5, Raiders 10 and 6. 7-9 for the Bronx and 3-12 and for the Chargers. The Vikings, 14-2. Lions are 7-9. Bears are 7-9. And the Packers are 13-3. NFC South, the Falcons are 9-7. The Panthers, 7-8. 6-10 for the Saints. 5-11 for the Buccaneers. NFC East, we got the Cowboys, Eagles, and Giants. Three. How the hell does three teams in the same division make the playoffs? That, that is crazy. Three teams in the same division make the playoffs? How how is that possible? That's crazy. I've never I've never seen that. How three teams three teams in the division made the playoffs. That's 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 crazy. So the Rams made uh the playoffs. Uh Seahawks 9 and 7, 49ers 7 and 9, and the Cardinals 5 and 11. NFL best record. We have the best record at 14 and 2. Texans and Cowboys going ahead 12 and 4. Uh, the Chiefs 11 and 5. Good record. But for the most part, there's only a handful of you know dominant teams. You know the Cowboys, Texans, and ourselves, the Ziggy Wolves, and the Chiefs. Everybody else 10 and 6, 10 and 5, 10 and 6, 10 and 6. Okay. All right. Next thing we're going ahead and look at are. The awards. So let's go on ahead and take a look at the awards. First off, let's look at the Pro Bowl. Let's see who made it to the Pro Bowl. We will start with the AFC. Tom Brady leads everybody in the AFC with a million and eighty-eight thousand votes. He is the starter for the AFC. Ben Roethlisberger and Drew Brees made it as well. For running backs, we got Ray Rice, Maurice Jones, Drew McCoy in Washington, and then we got Michael Robinson. We got Chris Agbanana. We got Banana over there. D-Jax, one point. Oh, I said uh, Tom Brady led everybody. Excuse me. He led all the quarterbacks. As of now, D-Jax is leading everybody with almost 1.4 million votes. We got Roddy White, Macklin, Mike Wallace, Fitzgerald. And that's the squad. Mike Thomas, Cordell Patterson, Jimmy Graham. Okay. Brent Selleck, Jake Long. Okay. Okay, I see y'all. I see everybody up in this AFC. We got Anthony Davis, 6'5". It's all of this damn hype for no damn reason. <laughs> Justin Tuck, 2 million views. I mean, 2 million. That was too many views. 2 million votes. Damn, that's a lot of votes. For Michael Johnson, Dominican Sue. 3 million votes for Von Miller. I think that is by far the most so far. We got Richard Sherm. We got Card Jack, Dante Robinson. Is that the most votes? Can I can I sort this? No, it won't let me. Well, forget y'all then. I didn't want to sort it anyways. The NFC, Peyton Manning. We're going to, how does AP only get 1.6 million? Now, nah, whatever. Then we have Cam Scram, Nelly Ham Newton, and Tony Romo. AP, Marshawn Lynch, I think, uh, like my literally my whole entire offensive line made it. Uh, wide receivers, I don't have any. Oh, AJ Green snuck in. We got a receiver going to the Pro Bowl, folks. AJ Green snuck in. Zach Miller, Dustin Keller, Donald Penn. Right here, just look at the line. Left guard Vikings, left tackle Vikings, center Vikings, 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 Vikings. Right, Vi like literally my entire line made the Pro Bowl. Oh, that's what happens when your running back leads the league and rushing in breaks the record, right? That's crazy. Then we got Cameron Wake. We got some we got some ballers over here on the NFC. 
We got Big Gino. Marcel, okay. Damn, I don't think nobody is seeing uh, 3 million votes like Von Miller is. What the hell? Why is Von Miller so damn special? What the hell is going on here? All right, now we're going to go to yearly awards. All right, the MVP has been won by Adrian Peterson. Next in line was Cam Newton. Now, this is what's crazy. Look at the overalls, people. How are these overalls changed? None of my players' overalls went up. None of them. And I spent, you know, the, the points that I got to raise their everything. Cam Newton, 99. Peyton Manning, 97. Robertsburg, 95. Brady, 97. Russell Wilson, 96. Danny Manning's an 85. And he was dominant this year. Like, RG3, 97. They started as like an 82, 84. Like, how they go up to 99? That's crazy. Coach of the year won by my boy Leslie Frazier. Well deserved. Jason Garrett came in second place. One of the teams I'm actually hoping to see in the playoffs because we lost to the Cowboys. I want to slap them silly. All right, we're going to go to the AFC. Offensive player of the year is run by Ray Rice. 97. 97. Look at these overalls, man. 95 by Doug Martin. Like, how are these, these guys' overalls going up like that? I must be doing something wrong. Ray Rice is Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year run by D'Amico Ryan. 89 overall. Navarro Bowman. Von Von. Oh, the Broncos kept Von. Okay. A.J. Hawk. Burnett. Yeah, I don't have... Well, I don't know if I got anybody on defense. Uh, rookie of the Year. Geno Smith. 82 overall. Geno Smith goes ahead and wins your Rookie of the Year. Defensive Rookie of the Year is run by Earl Wolf. Best quarterback, Tom Brady is the best quarterback in the AFC. Best running back, Ray Rice. Best wide receiver, Jeremy Macklin. 94 overall, DJX 96. It's crazy how uh, both of these guys are on the same team. Best offense alignment, Dwayne Brown, 96 overall. To Brooke Shaw Ferguson. Best D-line, Michael Johnson. Gotta be. He got like 12 million Pro Bowl votes. <laughs> he's he's uh, 96 overall. And Dominican Sue, 97. Damn, man, maybe I should have picked, I should have drafted uh, differently if I would have known the age. And I thought I was just going to do this for one year. Actually, leave in the comment section. Uh, I was just planning doing this franchise just for one year. Uh, but I actually really, really, really enjoyed it. So um, I just may continue it. If you guys want me to bring it back once the season is over, you know, go through the draft or stay with the Vikings, or maybe just a brand new draft, whatever it is you guys want, let me know if you guys want me to bring it back, I wasn't expecting it to have it this much fun, I definitely enjoyed it, or maybe we'll stay with the Vikes, and Ziggy Wolf is going to go on ahead and draft some rooks, Morgan Burnett's best DB, best kicker goes to Billy Cundiff, Ruby Gold, alright, now we're going to go on ahead and go to the NFC, Offensive Player of the Year is Adrian Peterson, followed by Cam Newton, Russell Wilson, look at these overalls, 96, 96, 99, 90, 97, 99, Kaepernick, 99, Kaepernick is a 99 though, like damn, if I'd have known that, after Adrian Peterson, I believe, no, 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 see, that's why these guys are going super early, because they knew something that I didn't, these guys are going, they're going like fifth pick, and I'm like, damn, why the hell is RG3 going like fifth pick or so early, Alf Morris, 91 lamp defensive player of the oh daniel manning and he's only 85 look at all these up 97 97 like come on man am i 99 pat p come on man that's a mutt player man that is a mutt player i'm a trade for him i'm a trade for him i need that on my team it's like what do i gotta do to get this dude had like 30 sacks this year it's crazy man offensive rookie of the year ej manual i don't believe i had any rookies to even have a contention Defensive Rookie of the Year, Mingo, Matt Elam, Ogletree, Jordan, Eric Reed. okay. Best QB, Cam Newton, 99 overall, Matt Schaub, man, Matt Schaub is up there. Vince Young was 10th, so uh, Vince Young had a horrible year, like 20 TDs and like 21 interceptions, but he's 10th on the, on, on the list of, uh, well, how many teams are in the, the NFC, what, 16, right, 10 to 16, not too bad, you know, top 10, we'll take that. Best running back, of course, Adrian Peterson, 99 overall. Steven Jacks, Trent Richardson, Alf. Next, we're going to go on ahead. Best wide receiver, Greg Jennings, though? 
Okay, yeah, my boy Green made it. AJ Green ain't no damn 99 overall. What? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. AJ Green is not a 99 over. Yo, don't play with me. Don't play with my emotions, yo. Do not play with my emotions. Well, move. Hurry up, man. Where, where my Ross is at? Don't tell me. There's no. He was like a, a, a 91 when I drafted him. He ain't no 99, yo. He is not no 99. How do I get to my damn roster? All right, man, his roster depth chart. Yo, is he really a 99? Don't play with my emotions like that, man. Don't play with my emotions. Oh, he's a 97, though. He's a 97, though. After the playoffs, he's probably going to be a 99. Yo, AJ Green is a 97, though. 97? I, I didn't know I had. I, you, I need to give you the ball more often. I didn't know you was this beastly. Damn. All right. Not damn, AJ. I didn't know that you went ahead and upgraded like that. All right. I, I'm sorry. I just had to check. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know that he was nine. They got him at 99 overall. So hopefully that should be happening soon. Then. Damn. I did not know that. Get out of here. We got a 99. We got a 99 overall. Even though it says 97, but we'll take that. Damn. I did not know that. I'm excited. Best offensive line. Look at all these Vikings, though. 92, 91 overall. See, Joe, see, I would have selected younger guys if I, you know, I didn't, you know, don't, I, I didn't know what I was doing. Don't, don't be mad at me. Best D-line. Do we have anybody on D-line? Nope. Jason Pierre-Paul, who actually is still in New York. Best defensive back, Samuel. We don't have anybody here either. Best kicker. Woo! Greg the leg, baby. Greg the leg. All right, those are your season award winners. We're going to go on ahead and take a look at the stats of the year. Yo, I, I can't believe that we got A.J. Green is beastly, though. He's beastly. All right, we're going to go to NFL. Your league leader in passing yards goes to Tom Brady. He's the only one to eclipse 4,000 passing yards. Peyton Manning came close at 3,800. Then Big Ben. Dalton? Damn, Dalton? All you needed was a green jersey for you to play like that? The league leader in TDs is Peyton Manning. Also through 14 interceptions. League leader interceptions. Oh, whoa, whoa. Come on, Vince. Come on, Vince. I'm going to need you to stop throwing so many interceptions, though. I'm going to 34 times sack, though. Whoa! 76 to damn! That's that Friday. Damn! 76 times? In 16 games? Uh, let's try to do quick math. Uh, let me see. 5 times 16. That's that's what? 5 and 6 is 30. That's 0. Put the 5 on top of 1. 5 that's 50. That's 80. Yeah, that's that's almost 5 sacks a game. You're, he's getting sacked like 4.6 times a game. Damn, that's a lot. 76? Oh, my goodness. Pass attempts. Carson, they are slinging the ball over there. Let me see. Where's where's Vince Young? How many times did we throw the ball? We're probably dead last. Who you at, Vince? Vince, 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 Vince. We threw the ball 225 times, 67 percent. All right. Next, we're gonna go on ahead to rushing. Of course, we know Adrian Peterson is gonna dominate most stats. League leader in carries is Ray Rice with 362. Talk about a workhorse. Rushing yards, we got AP with almost a thousand, almost uh, one a hundred yards away from being a thousand yards above the next league leading rusher. That's crazy. Yards per carry, ten. Well, Jennings did have that monstrous game though, but ten TDs, not even close. Twenty five. Can you imagine a fantasy year like this? Can you imagine a fantasy year like this? 25, that's almost two touchdowns a game, man. Average rushing yards per game. Somehow Trent Richardson averaged 300 yards a game with 236 carries and 1,100 yards. That makes zero sense. That's definitely a glitch. But AP led the league with almost 160 yards a game. Homeboy fumbled twice. Chris Johnson fumbled the most. Marshawn Lynch, the beast. Definitely being in beast mode, breaking all those damn tackles. Your league-leading receptionist. Is Roddy White by a good 15 catches? Reggie Wayne, Wes Welker, followed by Miles Austin, Des Bryant. 
you definitely expect to see people like Wayne Welker and Bryant, you know, in their yards. Most yards is Roddy White as well. Uh, do we have any Vikings here for yards? Where's AJ Green? Did AJ Green get close to a thousand? Did my 99 overall get close to a thousand? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We are looking for. Ah, close, close. I'm going to start throwing the ball more, AJ. Don't worry about that player. TDs, your league leader. Damn, Macklin had 14 touchdowns. Macklin went off this year. Damn, Macklin. All right, blocking. I'm, I'm looking for pancakes, man. Yeah. Who's flat? Woo! Woo! Look at all these flapjacks, though. Look at all these. He's flapjacks though. Oh man, we are straight flapjacking, folks, man. Yo, 24 pancakes, only two sacks allowed. That is incredible by Ben. All I eat is grubs. There we got Marsh, uh, Marshall Yanda. Next defense, who got the most tackles? Damn, Tula. 166 tackles. Pat P, 143 tackles. Damn, that's a lot of tackles, man. Sacks, y'all already know. Y'all already know that, that. Hey, wait a minute. Where the hell is Daniel Manning at? I thought Daniel Manning was, was balling this year. Wasn't Daniel Manning balling this year? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, y'all y'all, playing me, man. I know damn well. Daniel. Look, 22 sacks. It says it right there. 22 sacks. Why he ain't showing up, man? What the hell is going on? They're robbing Daniel Manning of his rightful sack throne. There you go, Daniel Manning. There you go. Why is he number one? Why is it 22 sacks for whatever he... Oh, um, that's because it's the Vikings. I'm nuts. Maybe he was on steroids, man. I, I don't know. It's not showing up. I don't know. But you guys see 22 sacks. Who got the most interceptions? Let's see. All right, take a guess. I want everybody right now do this with me. Take a guess. Most interceptions. I'm going to go with... Um... Most interception. I'm a. I'm gonna go with Revis Island. I'm gonna go with Revis. Let me see where he's at though. Most interception. Asante Samuel was seven. Amukamura. Man, so there's no Ed Reed. Man, I don't see Sherman. Or there's Sherman with four. Damn man. Damn. This dude ain't even got like. Come on, Revis. Three. You making me look bad out here, man. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Yeah, fourth fumble. Who's cracking, folks? James Laurinaitis. Namdi Asamuga is with the Niners. That's funny because we released him this year. That right there is your defense kicking. Let's see who went ahead and uh, extra points. I believe we did, did we? No, we don't kick the. Oh, damn, we did. We scored the most touchdowns. 50 offensive touchdowns this year. Most of them by way of Adrian Peterson. All right, touchbacks 37. Damn. No wonder why he's kicker of the year. Punting, yeah, we never really punted. Uh, we have kick return yards. Anybody who, who anybody score more than one touchdown? I had just one. Punt return, anybody score more than one touchdown? Damn, trending holiday. Look, all five, five of them. So that right there is the end of everything, guys. That is the awards of everything. Uh, the playoff game will be put up tomorrow. And that's kind of a coincidence considering... The NFL playoffs are tomorrow. So, um, I think I'm going to upload my playoff game at 9 tomorrow instead of 6. That way, you know, I, I don't want to throw it up there with the uh, everybody doing their their playoff stuff. So, I think I'm going to upload it at 9 tomorrow after the playoff games are done. Knock on wood. No wood here, but if you got wood, just go ahead and knock on that for your boy one time. Though. Hopefully, we go on ahead and we... Um, the 49ers win. So, our playoff game is coming up tomorrow. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's uh, skip the wild card by week. Let's see who we are going to face. Our matchup will be the Eagles. We got to go against Cam Newton. We played them, I think, week 17 or was it week 16? We dominated the Eagles. So, hopefully, we come through. And we go on ahead and do well. Like I said, we dominated the Eagles last time we played them. We beat them like 35-14. Hopefully, it's the same result, man. Because you know that all I'm at in cheese. So, um, 
We're going up against the Eagles. That's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, it's your boy GS. We are out. Peace. Give me baby, baby.